Sometimes Rhea liked to spend an afternoon in her attic. She wondered if Alo might like to join her, so she invited him over to explore the antique treasures together. This is amazing, Alo said. Look at this collection of hairbrushes. There were also boxes full of fancy old hats with bows and feathers. What is this? Alo asked. It's called a Nepali topi, Rhea explained. It's a popular Nepalese hat. Rhea showed Alo a cabinet of cubbies filled with ribbons and spools of different colored embroidery thread. Alo looked through them until he saw nearby boxes with lots of pictures in them. Here are some old photographs of family and friends, Rhea replied. They still lived in the cities of Nepal when these were taken. What are these? Alo asked. My grandmother put her old letters in those bags, Rhea replied. There are some books too. She loved to read stories, just like me. Alo looked at the pretty postcards while Rhea chose a book to read. This red dress is amazing, Alo exclaimed. It's a traditional Nepalese wedding dress, Rhea told him. Here are some saris and kurtas too. Let's try them on. These are so colorful, Alo said. It's like wearing art. Rhea was so happy to share these discoveries with Alo. To her, the attic was a treasure trove of her family's history. I'm glad you came over, she said. I'd never thought of these dresses and other things as art before. To Rhea's surprise, Alo returned to her house that evening. He brought her a painting he made of all the riches they'd seen together. I was so inspired by the art in your attic that I had to paint it right away, Alo said. Thank you for sharing your family memories with me.